The US is going to withdraw from the Paris Agreement, but there is still a lot you can do as an individual to help the environment. Might even be as easy as going meat free for one day a year. So I am talking about um, meat, World Meat Free Day, which happened recently. So if you are apprehensive about this, you have almost a year to amp up for it again. I um, saw no flashy Twitter banners, so I think they need to work on marketing. They didn't have hashtags with little cartoons in them? No, I mean, not at all. How are, how are the millennials supposed to know? I don't know, but <laughs> I'm gonna tell you now because you don't have to wait a year to do it. And That's I've fair. done it a lot actually on purpose and on accident. <laughs> um, so it's this is not us being hippie and groovy and whatever you keywords you hate. Uh, but um, <laughs> groovy? Yeah, there's Sorry. a lot of that's off topic. There's a lot of backlash to this, but I do yeah. want to say that it does actually help the environment a lot because in meat production, there are a lot of different resources that go into this. Mm -hmm. An enormous amount of water goes into meat production, um, which a lot of places can't afford right now. Actually, right, we're in a drought-prone state yes. for one. Um, according to a report by the US-based Environmental Working Group, using the best available data, the total amount of carbon dioxide produced per kilogram of meat product for both farming and post-farming environments for a variety of livestock are pretty shocking. So the average meat consumption in the US per person, uh, which also takes into account people who do not eat, is 90 kilograms per year. That's about 198 pounds per year as of 2014. That's about 0.25 kilograms per day, which is a little over half a pound per day. Um, and which across the entire population of the US is 80.4 million kilograms of meat per day. Mm -hmm. So according to the North American Meat Institute, uh, one cow, the production of, well, one beef, I would say, because yes. we're referring to the meat, yeah. um, is 576,965,000 kilograms of uh, CO2 in the production of that. Basically, all these livestock are, are producing so much CO2, they're taking all this water that is needed to keep you know, uh, force actually watered and, you know, removing that from the rain cycle and everything. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, you got to factor in all chemicals being used in order to preserve the meat to get it to all the different supermarkets, uh, the amount of fossil fuels being used to transport everything. So it's not just about if people go, well, methane in the air, it's not just that. And I love bacon. I eat meat. I do all the time. It's I'm not about that. I am about trying to save the planet mm -hmm. to make it last as long as possible. So if all it takes is one day not having meat, that's yes. that sounds pretty easy on the sheer just millions upon millions of, you know, gram well, kilograms and everything of CO2 being put out which is, is astronomical and on level of factors. Yes. So when you combine the amount of beef uh, lamb, pork, and chicken that uh, people in America consume each day. Um, that amounts to 1.69 million tons of carbon dioxide a day. <sighs> so if you stop for one day, we could um, put make such a smaller CO2 imprint. I, it's, and actually it's, let the atmosphere you know, be able to break down and plants right. to absorb and everything. Because CO2 is a good thing, we don't want to get rid of it. But we can't have it all at once. If we went, um, ever, if everyone went meat free for one year, that equates to over 560 million tons of uh, carbon dioxide, which, according to calculations, is 10 percent of America's total carbon emissions. So, Whoa. yes, wow, yes, that is crazy. So it's a lot. So if you stopped eating meat for just one day, just one, and there's plenty of delicious foods that don't contain meat, I may remind you, some of them even taste like meat. Yeah. Which is weird though. But I mean, like donuts, those mm. are made free. People like those. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it would save a lot on our, our national carbon mm. footprint. I mean, like I mentioned off the top, um, the US is withdrawing from the Paris Agreement, and a lot of different States and uh, mayors even are Hawaii, committing California, to yeah. are committing to uh, abiding by the accord anyway regardless of what Trump says. Mm -hmm. And if you want to help in even a small way, that that will do so much. And it's, it I don't up. think it's very hard. I no. eat every kind of meat, um, but it's super easy to not do it for just one meal. I think it's crazy mm -hmm. that we've decided um, you're either, you either never eat any meat 
or you eat meat for every meal. There's definitely a middle ground. Which for if your you, own health too. Yeah, which you have to be careful both ways. If you're never eating any meat, you have to make sure your still body still getting those proteins and stuff. And if you eat meat for every meal, you're dead by like 35 because it's just your cholesterol, your heart closes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, also, in a lot of these places, in a lot of what you know, uh, what they call food deserts, where they, people don't have access to you know fresh produce, you know things of that nature, the meat and poultry products they're getting as well are also not fresh. So the amount of preservatives that have to go into those products that then people are feeding their children who are you know growing and maturing and everything like that are also uh, very damaging, just as much as air pollution is. Is that you know your body is made up of what you eat, and if mm -hmm. you're feeding your body chemically you know soaked uh, meat, uh, then you're not going to be healthy. You're going to have you know complications later in life. So finding a way to do without, unless you can get a, a proper or at least a, a cleaner source of those animal proteins, is something to also think about, and also does help. Mm -hmm. I'm. Telling you now, if you do want to do a little small part, that's an easy way to do it. You won't suffer, and you will do a lot of good. I just, I think people so are going your to say <laughs> June twelfth, or whenever you want. I did it on accident, like the whole weekend, and oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's just, it's not that hard. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I'm just telling you an easy way to make it better in the future. Long-term goals, y'all. Uh, would you try this? Please let us know below and like and subscribe for more.